go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sound. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tablets, phones, apps, music, and more has been transformed because of Steve Jobs. Unlike many Christians, Steve believed impossible things were actually possible. They actually could happen. Impossible things could actually manifest. That turned him on to a different level of awareness and would allow him to bend impossible to actually being possible. This reality distortion field took a central position in Steve's life. The power allowed him to reshape the perception of his reality so that he could find the impossible probable. The reality distortion field took a central position in his life. Reality distortion, the way the distortion, the way something twists or bend. How does it work? I'm glad you asked. Here it is. The reality distortion field is a strong will and ability to bend any reality to fit the desired goal and purpose in my life. Pastor Raymond Lamont Beatty is a transformer. You got to have a transformer because when I came to, to Houston, I was weary, worn, and sad. I had, lost, I had lost so much. And Pastor Beatty brought me in. And listen, he transformed himself first. He went from musician to minister to a pastor to a producer. And he changed himself. He made himself without any degrees, without any fanfare. He just did the work. I don't need the title. I can just have a testimony. Trailblazers find water underneath. But transformers come water from above. Because rain hadn't been invented yet. He said he had not caused it to rain because there was not a man to till the ground. You are a transformer. Kick that. Ooh, I'm trying to contain myself. Because sometimes you think back over your life in this thankful season, and you see all that God has done for you. And, and let me tell y'all, the reason why he's done it with no degrees and, 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 and mother dying at 15 and, and so many odds against me is because my mind started to transform to really understand what was possible in my life. In spite of. And because your senior pastor is a transformer, that anointing and that oil trickles down on you. Somebody say, I am a transformer. Come on, say, I'm not just a believer, but I'm a transformer. Ooh. I want y'all to get this today. The worst thing could have happened to me on Thursday after Thursday evening is I saw Tyler Perry's documentary Maxine's baby oh my god just to see the story about what was told to him that he couldn't do you want to challenge me tell me what you say I can't do and brother Thad there's a song that's written one of the most beautiful songs I think ever created it's a line that says, if I can see it, then I can be it. If I just believe it, there's nothing to it. Before you ever get to that, I believe I can fly. If I can see it. Now, now theologically, it doesn't line up with the word if you look at it the wrong way. Because that line says, if I can see it. And if you look at the word, the word says, uh, we walk by faith, not by sight. The Bible says, faith is the substance of things, hope for the evidence of things not seen. But this song ain't literally saying, if I can see it. This song is literally saying, if I can see myself doing it. And some of us, the reason why we're not having success is because we can't see nothing. 
because we ain't experienced nothing. You think because you ain't experienced nothing in the past that you ain't going to see nothing in the future. In other words, your past is holding your future hostage. But some of y'all need to see yourself in the future. And despite everything that is not taking place, you need to transform your mind and say, I can do all things through Christ. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. So what? I got to go through it again. He's going to do it again. I like that. So what? I got to go through it again. He's going to do it again. If I just believe, if I can see it, I see myself. Then I can do it. Oh, oh, oh. if I just believe. If I ain't got to worry about Shalon believing, and I love Shalon. And I ain't got to worry about Pastor Jeff believing, and I love Pastor Jeff. If I, I feel like preaching today. I see myself in the future, and I don't care what odds are stacked against me. If God be for me, I, Connie, I got to give y'all this testimony real quick. I think I'm gonna shout right here. I'm gonna shout right here. I'm not gonna wait till the battle of a shout right here. So, so last week y'all know I won the championship. Y'all know I won the championship. Y'all know I was in the basketball league. For the first time, a team that had never been put together was assembled, and we played in a league where they knew each other and they knew the refs and the whole nine, but my team won because they had me on the team. See, some of y'all think less of yourself, and you want to stay humble. But I'm, I'm, I'm not arrogant, but I'm confident in the Lord. I was so confident that after we won the game that led us to the championship, on my way to my vacation, I sent the text out. I sent it to Alberta Walker. That's my girl. She does some shirts for me. Put this text on the screen. My, the game was November 6th. I texted her on, y'all can even read that. Oh, my God. Yeah, y'all didn't size that real good. Let me go ahead and put it. Let me put that. I can't read that if they... It's, y'all, all y'all see it, Thursday, November 2nd, 1143, I said, good evening, my sis, pray you're well. I got some good eyes. Can you get me 10 t-shirts with the logo and below, place 2023 champions on it somewhere, somewhere on it, needed for Monday night. So I wanted her to print some shirts up. On November 2nd for November 6th. And I wanted the church to say 2023 champions. I had these shirts made before the championship was won. I'm going to talk to you because some of y'all ain't getting it. In other words, I put my faith into action. I believed it, and not only did I believe it, faith without works is dead. I put it on a t-shirt before it ever happened. Some of y'all need to get that dream, that vision, that thing that you want to do. You need to put it on a t-shirt. New business owner, 2023. Come on, y'all. Whatever God is saying for you to do, put it on a t-shirt. Here it is. After we won the game, the guy saw me. I went and grabbed the bag because I didn't tell nobody what was in the bag. I told Darius, I said, I need you to pick a bag up. It's in my office. It's closed up. Just bring it to the gym. He ain't asked no question. See, you need to get people around you that ain't going to question what God's telling you to do. Because you get the wrong people around you, Chaz, they go, well, well, what you got me doing that for? Well, why, well, can you tell me why you want that bag? Can I see what's in the bag? You don't need no people that's trying to figure out your game plan. You need the people around you that just understand, if I said it, just do it. So they brought the bag to me in the game, and after the game was over, we won by one point. I don't care if we won by 50 points, one point, baby. And some of y'all trying to win by a lot in life. I don't care how much I won by. Right now, I'm the 2023. 
And I think God allowed me to win the championship so I can remind you that there's a champion inside of you. But you got to see it. You got to see it before it ever happens. If I can see it. Saw myself with this shirt on. So you know what? Now faith without works is dead. Prophet is Belinda. Faith without works is dead. I had to play the game like my life depended on. Because I knew what I wanted the outcome to be. So the players, we shake hands with the players afterwards. They see me throw the shirt on. They look at the shirt. They say, hey. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Mama, they said, you had these shirts made before the game? He looked at me as if to say, how dare you? <laughs> he told me, Unc, he said, that was bold of you. I said, that wasn't bold. That was faith. And some of y'all in 2023 need to have some bold. These are the last two months of this year. I need you to have bold faith, bold faith. Faith, bold faith like never before. And then he had the nerve to tell me, he said, what if it didn't happen? I said, it did. <laughs> See, you, you get folks, ah! you get folks trying to pull you down. You got to pull yourself back up. I ain't thinking about what couldn't happen. Set your mind on whatever's pure, whatever lovely, whatever kind. Think on these things. You can't, sometimes you can't win because you think about losing. I don't know how much of this I'm going to get through. I've been trying to preach this sermon for I don't know how long. Winning is a transformed mindset. Touch your neighbor and say, transform your mind. I didn't focus on losing. I didn't focus on the possibility of losing. Was there a possibility that I lose? Yes. But was I going to focus on it? No, because I'm transforming my mind to bend it to what I want it to be. And while I want it to be that way, I'm not going to think about what I don't want. So here it is, the purpose of this particular passage of Scripture of Romans, the book of Romans in itself, was to introduce Paul to the Roman church and to present the heart of his message before he arrived to Rome. Take, go with me to Romans 12 and 1. Paul heard about this church that was fastly growing, but he had not yet been there. And none of the other, none of the other apostles had been there. The church was started by Jews who had just come to faith during Pentecost, Acts 2, when the church was on one accord, all right? They had spread the gospel on their own, and they've turned, returned to Rome now, and the church was growing. And Paul now begins to give his message to, to them and explain what it means to live in complete submission to Christ. Complete submission. Everybody say complete submission. Amen. Using spiritual gifts to serve others and transform lives. And here it is. There's a few words that I want to bring to your attention. Romans 12 and 1, I beseech thee, which means I beg of you, I plead with you. Therefore, brethren, he's talking to a group of believers, same like-minded people. He's not talking to people who are not believers of the faith. He's talking about, he's talking to family. Today I'm talking to family. I beseech you, therefore, family, brethren plural, men and women, by the mercies of God, not mercy, but the mercies, brand new mercies of God, that here it is, you present your bodies, here it is, y'all, I'm giving you, I'm teaching today, Present, presenting your bodies, we are one body, that's why your body can't have its own rules, well, let me say this, your body can't have its own rules and represent this body. This is what Paul is saying. Present your bodies. He didn't say individual, your body. He said your bodies. I want all of y'all to present your bodies as a living. When you leave out this place, you're not on your own. You're not Patty LaBelle. On my own. 
How does it end this way? It ain't this way. <laughs> Boy, Pastor Beatty crazy. <laughs> Prophetess Belinda, here it is. A living, here it is. Present your bodies, every last one of us. Present our bodies as a living sacrifice, which means that you're not what the Old Testament was. You ain't the dead sacrifices. You're alive. And what you do is holy, which means separated from foolishness. I'm set apart. Acceptable, accept, acceptable to God. Even if people don't like it, God has accepted it. Which is your reasonable service. And here it is. And do not conform to this world. I'm going to get to that in a second. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove. May you be proof and evidence. May you be human beings. Be proof of what is good and acceptable of that perfect will of God. Everybody say, I'm a kingdom trans transformer. I'm a kingdom transformer. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm a kingdom transformer. I'm a kingdom transformer. Say, I'm also a believer, I'm also a not, a not a doubter. I'm the head, I'm the head. never to tell. Never I'm, above, I'm above, never beneath. Never. I can have, do, and be. What the word says I can have, do, and be. And thanks be unto God who gives me the ability to be a kingdom transformer. Give God a praise up in this place. I talked to one, I, I, I've been waiting to preach this sermon for about a, a few months now. And I talked to somebody during the fast, which was September, about uh, giving up certain things during the fast. You got to give up coffee. Got to give up social media. Got to give up this. Got to get in there. And their eyes was like, it was a young person. God literally wants us to have that response if someone told us we had to give him up. Imagine somebody told you, you got to give up God. Take everything. Don't take my God. At the end of the day, he's all I got. And here it is in, in Romans 12, a kingdom citizen's body is the temple of Holy Spirit. And those of you that wonder, you're new members here at the church, wonder why we call him at the valley Holy Spirit, because he's a person. He's not a the. So it ain't the God. It ain't the Jesus. Matter of fact, it ain't the Raymond. It ain't the Della. It's Della. Ray. Jesus. Holy Spirit. Everybody say amen. So the word bodies, here it is, the, the word presents is translated to yield. Everybody say yield. The word bodies, mindful of Old Testament sacrifices, represents the totality of one's life, my thinking and my activities. Let me say this one more time. The word present means to yield. Everybody say yield. Present your body. Yield your body. Okay? The word bodies is mindful of the Old Testament. It represents the totality of who I am, my thinking, and my activities. Amen? So I yield my temple to the thinking and the activities of God. I yield my thinking to the, I yield my temple, rather, to the thinking and activities of God. This is a contrast to the Old Testament uh, sacrifices that, a living sacrifice is totally different than the dead sacrifices of old. Such an offering, here it is, yielding the bodies, is considered holy, which means to be set apart, which is pleasing to God, a spiritual offering. Dare I say, set, being set apart and presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice is worship unto God. Dare I even go to say that it's not just worship unto God, but uh, uh, it's sacred worship mm, unto God. You talented, but are you set apart? You gifted, are you set apart? You good at what you do, but have you set it apart? This is the ultimate sign of kingdom transformation. Everyone say kingdom transformation. Not only am I good at it, but I'm set apart. 
I don't do it like other folk do it. I do it in a way that pleases God. That even when my flesh says do this, I, I want to please God so I can't take this temple everywhere and I can't do everywhere everything with this temple because this temple is supposed to be pleasing because I represent kingdom transformation. Kingdom. Kingdom, and you put it on the screen, a kingdom is a total, a sovereign rulership. Sovereign simply means total. Kingdom is a sovereign rulership governing influence of a king over his territory, impacting that territory with his will, intent, and purpose of producing a community of citizens that express a culture. I want to express a culture that reflects the nature. Reflect means to look like. I need to look like every day the nature and lifestyle of the king. One of the biggest things that he looked like was sacrifice. In the kingdom, that's a big word, sacrifice. And, and, and in order to sacrifice, I got to transform my mind. What does it mean to transform? Transform means to change something completely, to alter it, to go from beyond form. Change it. Change. What does change mean? Change means to make different, to modify, to make better, to change what? Change your mindset to believe the impossible is actually possible. My other teammates, when we were in the huddles before the games, I remember this vividly, y'all, and God was just giving me direct download. I know why I couldn't preach it then, because he was trying to give me more meat for this sermon. They were talking about how experienced the other team was. Man, you know the refs, you know, they really cool with the other team. Man, we're going to be in a dog fight. Man, you know they've been here before. And everything that they started to talk about was about the other team. So I started to jump in the huddle and say, hey, man, what we going to do? Because when you're in a fight, it's not about what the – y'all been in a fight on the phone with the phone with the bill collector? And how many of y'all have messed up what God wanted to do because you got frustrated by what they were saying? I give my son's testimony. He's going to get mad at me later, but it's all good. I asked for permission, Chartiste, in the spirit realm. I asked for permission in the spirit realm. So he was supposed to come here last week, but something happened at the desk at, at the airport, and it frustrated him, and he went off on the attendant at the gate. I hear Doc, Doc, Doc Smith, now you don't get on no plane by going off on no attendant there. You, he right on the front row. You, don't, you ain't going to get on that flight. And could it be some of us are just like my son that because things are not going your way, you forget who you are and what you have on the inside of you. And when you get on there in those moments where it's not going your way, you got a supernatural ability on the inside of you that you can call some things that are not, not happening as though they were happening. It's not how they're responding to you. It's how you're going to respond to the situation that allows God to respond to your... Everybody say, change your mind. Change your mind. But here it is. This is where we're going to park, right here. A lot of people, many people, focus. This is where our focus gets wrong. We focus on behavioral transformation without mind transformation. And when we focus on behaviors transformation without mind transformation, it's simply conduct control. It's simply controlling folks' conduct, the matter in which a person behaves. Y'all remember when we was growing up, mama would say, now, I, I said before, sir, now, when you get over here, you're going over so-and-so, so-and-so house. I want you to... I, mama would... Mama put us in acting school because mama knew we had energy. I know Cairo got energy, but we still put him on the front row. <laughs> we put my grandson on the front row with my grandson last night jumping off couches, acting like he's Superman and doing some everything. But we put him on the front row of church, and we expect them to act. We put him in acting school early, y'all. And, and what it is, it's, it's us trying to control their behavior mm. before we control their, that's why, y'all, this whole concept of mind, this, this whole thing, the, everybody say mind, mind. Hand, hand, heart. 
Say it again. Say mind, mind. Hand, hand, heart. We go to the hand first. We want folks to act differently. We want them to come to church, go through new members, and then act differently right away. You can come to church, new members. You can go through new members class. You can understand the word. But there's still going to be some issues. There's still going to be some things. And we get afraid of people in church because they got some things. We don't like to show this kind of stuff. Just because I went through new members class, I gave my life to Christ, don't mean I don't have some things. I love the Lord. He heard my cry, pleaded my every wrong, but I got some things. And if you be truthful with yourself, there are some things. This may not be your thing. But there is a thing that you struggle with that you need the Lord's help with. And I cannot kick you to the curb because you got some struggles. That's hand issues. I want to get to your mind. And if we're going to shift your mind, I got to spend some time with you. I can't expect you to act differently when I ain't spent no time with you. You wonder what's wrong with the church. People like me, senior pastors, can't be touched. You know what I want to smell like? I don't want to smell like my cologne at the end of church. I want to put my cologne on, but I want to smell like the sheep. I want to hug you. If I ain't got a good piece of lipstick or makeup right there every Sunday, my cleaners man be like, yep, you done been to church again. I want it right there. Now, you put it up here, you done tried to get too close. I miss you. Everybody say, mind transformation. transformation. You can't get people to act differently if you ain't spent no different time with them. And the reason why, Roy Barron, that Paul was making this trip to Rome is so folk can understand the heart of his message. He took time out of his very busy schedule to go teach people to make sure that they got the download. In other words, he didn't think it was just okay for them to read it on social media. He didn't think it was just okay for them to just get it online. He wanted to make sure he looked at them face to face. Let me tell y'all, if we really are trying to grow the church, if we really want the church to be what God has called it to be, then I can't just tell Darius and I can't just tell Molly what to do. I got to sit with them. Come on, y'all. I got to train them. Come on. And I got to get between them, God. I got to go love on them. I got to hear what's going on in their life. I got to care about them and what's happening in their lives. And that is going to determine the change of their behavior. Could it be that the church is not growing is because we won't spend time with the church. This is the church. And this is the church of God in Christ. And it's not a denomination. It's a relationship. So we can't spend a a lot of time trying to get people to act differently. We won't spend time with them. In order for SGM to grow, this is a new bunch of singers who've never sang before together. It's incumbent upon me as a leader and Thad as a leader to help train them in Q and jazz. We got to work together to build relationships. I just can't expect this man to come in here and know the history of the valley. I got to teach him. And once 
we have taught differently, we can expect people to act differently. This is some good teaching. Touch your neighbor and say, this is some good teaching. So, and let me tell y'all this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Doc Smith, listen, watch this. And once they act differently, don't expect them to act totally different. So this is what I want y'all to see. Get this. Come on, y'all. Get, get up in here. Get up in here. Be thankful that it's just this. Because it used to be this. And as you continually to get them to change their mind, shift their minds in order to accomplish and adopt new habits, what happens is this has changed. Then all of a sudden, this has changed. I used to do four or five a week. God, God working on me is just one. I'm telling y'all, I've seen it in the gospel community. We throw people away because people have issues. And because you think you know, y'all know, I, I smell more weed in the church every Sunday. Y'all think that bothers me? Some of y'all looking, y'all smell people have some, y'all y'all know y'all smell it. You hug somebody, you just, I got high. I, I get high every Sunday just... Hey, how you doing? That's side contact. Some of you, and some of y'all are so safe, he ought not be talking like that. Where are they going to get helped and healed if they can't come here? And let's stop acting like it don't exist. And let me tell you, to me, what they doing don't define who they are. My job is to present a championship game plan to those believers so that one day is this. And one day they get to us a star, but one day it ain't nothing up there. It's they've been delivered, they've been free, and now they can help me bring others. Everybody say, mind. Think differently. Think differently. Hand, Hand. Act, differently. act differently. Then once they act differently, everybody say heart. heart. They, feel they feel differently. Come on, Roscoe, I got to get out of here. I got to preach somewhere else at 1230. I got to go. I, I, I'll do a part three next week. I want to give you a story of, of a young lady, Shikari Richardson. I want you to put this on the screen. Shikari Richardson, track and field giant. She was on her way. In 2019, boy, she was about to kill the game. She was about to be our new Jackie Joyner Curse. She was about to be our new everything. And they tested her, and she failed a drug test. She failed the drug test. Everybody killed her. I knew this was too good to be true. I right, so-and-so, so-and-so. They was killing her. But then earlier this year, after three years of being away, she got in that race, and she, look at her. Look at her. It don't matter how much you win by. And Pastor Jeff, come on up here, Roscoe. I got to go. That's Jeff, they asked her an interview, they said, and they all in her face, the same Negroes that was tearing her down. Got up in her face, Secreta, and said, Shikari, this was incredible. How does it feel to be back? She said, I'm not back. She said, I'm better. And I just want to close today and just tell you today, that this is your day, this is your season, new members, this is your new time to be a better version of yourself. I speak better in the room, better season, 
better family, better finances. I speak the word of better. Matter of fact, go down your row and just tap seven people and say better, 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 better. Transform, transform, better. Better. Better in my mind. Better in my heart. Better in my actions. I speak better. Better day, better days, better day, better what? Better days, better vision, better dreams. I speak it to you, Millie, it won't always be like this. Better relationships. Those of you that have been married already, just start clapping and say, better spouse. Some friend threw you under the bus, better friend. That money wasn't enough, better money. Come on, lean over somebody and say better, 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 better. Better, put a seed on better, better. I speak it in the atmosphere, better. 2023, the rest of 2023, better. 2024, better. January, better. February, better. March, April, May, June. July, August, September, October, November, December, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, Scream better. The trumpet has sound for you to wake up and operate in your better. But it starts in your mind. If I can see it. I mean, can I really... Can I, can I see myself being a champ? Can I see myself putting this shirt on? Not arrogantly. Because I didn't walk around before the game saying, we're the champs. That's what Joseph did. I ain't got the bag. I ain't got, don't tell nobody. Sometimes just tell yourself. If I can see it. Then I can do it if I just believe it. There's nothing to it. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Think about it every night and day. Shred my wings and fly away. I believe. I can soar. Oh, see me running through that open door. I believe I can fly. I can fly. I believe I can fly. I can fly. I believe I can fly. I can fly. If I just apply the word. Walk in the word, transform. I can fly. 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 Somebody in the room, won't you spread your wings? Spread your wings. Spread your wings. I can fly. So, Father God, as we leave this place, come on, Pastor Jeff. Never from your presence. We will not allow the stuff that we go through to cancel out what you've assigned us to do and who you've assigned us to be. Yep, every now and then, I'm going to have some issues in life. Flowing from my heart are the issues. Some days I just got issues. 
but never allow your issues to define who you are in Christ. If I could keep on moving, keep on walking, keep on talking, keep on connecting to the book every day, day by day, day by day, brand new mercies. Come on, brand new mercy, brand new grace. And one thing I love about him, Deja, he never kicked me to the curb because I got stuff. Matter of fact, because I had the stuff, he sent his stuff. His stuff, I'm glad you asked, was his son. For God so loved the world that whosoever believeth in him, he sent his only son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Look at your neighbor, shake him and rock him. Rock him and shake him. Say, you got everlasting life.